Page 29, Country Gardens. Uh, they're not really giving you anything new here. You're using stuff they presented already, okay? You see the rehearsal numbers starting at the first one is at the second line. It's at the beginning of each of the second, third, and fourth lines. There's But you are also measure numbers. It's nice. Uh, they come in handy because it's, there's a duet part at the bottom. So when you're playing a duet with somebody, you can say, okay, we messed up, let's start at rehearsal number nine. And you both can find the rehearsal nine and you can start right there. You don't have to go back and start at the beginning again, okay? Because you can't say, well, let's start at the beginning of line two because your music is different. Your line two is not the same as the accompaniment's line two. They don't match up. So you have to use the rehearsal numbers for that. In the right hand, we'll start there. In the second measure, because you're in this position to start, they do have that cross over there. Okay, so your, your first note in the second measure is an A, then two eighth notes, and you cross over to get the F sharp. See, this is in the key of D major again. It's two sharps, right? F sharp and C sharp. Now when you do that, that changes your hand position. That's okay. If you can do a D major scale, this is the fingering for it. So it shouldn't be a problem. It would be quite natural for you. When you get to the third line, notice they want the fourth finger on that high D. Well, the note before it was a, a, a low D. And now the next one is that one. Well, if you can spread your hand out a little bit, it'll help you. Now, it's between phrases, so you got to lift up the hand anyway, so you get some silence. But if you spread it out, you don't have to move as far. Right, now that's what I recommend you do. In the last line, I recommend you put your fifth finger on the first note in the D. They don't tell you that, but I recommend you do. Because you're in this position. Uh, if you put your fifth finger on that D, It's like the first line. It's the same fingering, same notes. Uh, so I recommend fifth finger on the D. And that's it for the right hand. The left hand just has you know, basically accompaniment and chords. And there's nothing really surprising going on as long as you get the right notes at the right time. You're out, piece of cake. Well, let's try this together. Four, four time, I'll give us four counts and we can play it. So the right hand is here. And when I put my hand in the position, because there are C sharps, I go ahead and put my finger on C sharp here. Okay. And the left hand's here. Right. Again, F sharps, right? Okay. One, two, ready, go. Let's try the accompaniment together, but I want to speed it up a little bit. This piece is a happy, happy piece. You hear it. We don't have to take it that fast, but I want to take it faster than we just did when we do the duet. So we're going to speed it up a little bit. So go ahead and put your hands where they go, where you just did. You play what you did, and I'm going to play the duet part together. Now my part's totally different than yours, so you have to listen to me so you can stay with me, but you got to focus on what you're doing. Well, here we go, four counts, and we'll play it together. 
One, two, ready, go.